Hi guys and welcome back to Leo Gaming. Yes, today is the third tutorial which is how to set the autopilot including altitude and uh, heading uh, once you're at cruising altitude. The previous video tutorial two we did uh, take off and climb into cruising altitude. Today we take a step further and how to use the autopilot. As you can see I've got my friend here Mr Piggy I do, this is because I told my son that I would include one of his toys in uh, <laughs> one of his cuddly toys in one of my videos. So, say hello, say hello. Uh. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, today is a very, very special day. It's Saturday. So, without further ado, let's get straight in to this tutorial. So, we are currently at the last stage. We are climbing to 27,000 feet, which is the, uh, the highest flight level that I've set for this flight. So as you can see on the bottom right hand corner, we've got, we're up to 25,000. And we're, once we're at 27,000, I will set the autopilot. So I'm going to start leveling off because we're approaching 27,000 so I don't want to over, over jump it. It's very, very windy. That is one thing great about this game is you, you get to find out what the weather's like in different parts of the world. Right, now as we're approaching, what I want to do is I want to press push the select button basically the that the, the button next to the start button what, what, what classic game is this from? Airbus if you want to go up or down push the select button <laughs> anyway guys we're going to head into the cockpit so now I'm going to take use the mouse as well so we're at 27,000 now there's two ways so first I'm going to set the the altitude, so you use this one here, this little dial here in the middle of the of the cockpit, and have the 100 and the 1000 markers. The bottom bit of that of that button select changes it from 100 to 1000 increments. You use this one with the So and maintain flight level 270 so, Maverick 1123. Change that to 2,700. Now nothing, uh, 27,000, nothing's gonna happen yet. So now we wanna change the heading. Now, if we go back outside, you see the markers? You've got that little sort of keyhole marker. Now we're gonna be meeting them as we go through and through, okay? So obviously they're my flight plan markers. Now, you can either do two ways. You can either, if you're doing a direct route without flight plan, you wanna set your, your, your heading autopilot as the heading of the airport directly to the airport and it will fly a straight line to the airport or you can use uh, tracking so basically that tracks your flight plan and the plane will automatically adjust follow those markers and turn itself in order to reach the destination so if we go back in so heading basically what I want to do heading I want to lock. So if I click this button here, that will track the markers. But it's not doing it yet because I haven't engaged the autopilot. So as you can see, so already we've set the altitude to 27,000. And we've set the increments to 1,000. Set the heading to track to track my flight plan. So what we we'll do now is I will select autopilot on. Now what you'll see, you'll see the plane now turning 
towards the first flight plan marker. The altitude's not engaged yet because you have to do something extra with that. So we want to Actually, we need to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of that. That's it. So now that's tracking. I think it should be. It doesn't look like it. Right. One, two, three. You are 400 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain flight level 270. Scan right, so now. And so if I select that, 270 Maverick 1123. My plane, we're now the auto. Let's turn off. That's so right, the autopilot on the altitude is now engaged, and the heading is now on track. So right, as you can see, so what it's doing now is I've got locked mode on, so that means it's locked on to tracking my flight plan, which is this button here. It doesn't always go how you want it to play. Sometimes there's little other things, like this for example. It's, I'm at 27,000, as you can see, 10, 10 feet below 27,000. But for some reason, there's this problem. I don't know whether it's a glitch with the game or whether it's something I'm I'm doing, but it's something to do with the the altitude and the the, the, bar, the barometric pressure, or bariotic pressure, whatever it's called. Um, I'm just going to flip that to standard. And it doesn't register that you're at 27,000. So what I've ended up having to do is basically go three, 400 feet above 27. So it registers that I'm at 27. It's weird, I don't get it, but that's what it seems to do. So in a minute, what you'll hear them say. So, so now we're at, I can literally leave the controller and take and wander off. I'll go for a walk until I get to my approach, the descent and approach. Maverick, one, one, two, three, so right, what I'm going to do is basically go 300 feet, so I'm going to adjust the, uh, that to 100. One, two, three. Click the middle mouse button. Now we're going to go up 300 feet. As you can see, I'm not touching the controller. Doing it all itself. So I, I now really don't have to touch the controller. The only time I would now touch the controller is when I want to go into the cockpit and push the select button and get into the cop, uh, go straight into the cockpit. So as you can see, my altitude is climbed, climbing up to 27,300. So look, as we as we move close to here, my plane will slightly adjust. See, this is what's good about this game. Once you manually get up to cruise altitude and you set the autopilot, you literally could just make yourself a cup of tea, go and do something else. As you can see, we've got a bit of a thunderstorm down here at the moment. This is what I mean. The graphics are superb on this game. Look, we've got lightning everywhere. Obviously, there's a thunderstorm. Keeps running away. Beautiful. So, have a little recap. So once we've reached 27,000, and I was still manually controlling it, first of all, we needed to set the heading, and we did that by selecting this one, and then using the mouse, you can use the controller, but I use the mouse, use the middle roll wheel, mine's an old-fashioned mouse, by the way, it's not a gaming mouse, use the middle roll wheel, and scroll it all the way up to 27,000. Then once you've done that, you want to set your heading, so you want to click this one, 
heading track and that will track your flight plan. And once you've done that, engage your boat pilot. So you click AP1. That will engage, make sure the green light is on and that will engage your autopilot. It will then keep the heading, uh, keep the altitude at 27,000 and it will also follow your marked flight plan, which is there. All the way up until you get to the airport, basically where you can then take manual control, insert yourself into the pattern and um, like that. So there's not really a lot to the autopilot. Once you, once you know how to use these controls, it's easy. It's, it's, it is quite easy just to go into here, the flight system, and then click AI pilot in bang, like that. Then that will take you all completely back into doing all this. But if you want a more slightly realistic, or easy approach to doing it, you want to use. So guys, I don't know this is a glitch. I don't know whether this is a glitch, guys. If there's any PC uh, sim simmers out there or other Xbox, if that's a glitch with the game or if I'm doing something wrong in terms of the plane itself, because I ain't got a clue. So what I end up doing is now, is I'm going to select, so it says I'm 300 feet, so I'm now going to go up to 276. So I'm now going to head up to 27,600 feet because it's told me I'm 300 feet below. See, this is what I don't get, and it, it does this a lot for us. Right. If someone can tell me whether that's me doing something wrong, or whether it's a glitch in the game, so guys, that is pretty much So guys, that is pretty much I've got the auto, uh, the talking on the radio as the AI assistant, the uh, my co-pilot, my co-pilot Piggy here is doing a very good she or he is doing a very good job. So guys, that is the end of tutorial 3 and how to set the autopilot for heading and altitude. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to basically take you down, take you through approach, final approach, and landing the plane. Which again, when it gets to descending and uh, landing, I will take over manually. I only ever do autopilot on level flight. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like my content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons right now and check out my previous tutorial which was takeoff and climbing to cruising altitude and that is right up on your screens right now anyway guys hope you have a, a nice the rest of the nice weekend that doesn't make sense i hope you have a nice weekend <laughs> and i love you all see you later goodbye